Ja, wir sind jetzt in Port Erin, offizielle Pressekonferenz zur TT und wir haben niemand geringeren hier als den großen Champion John McGuinness und äh, wir wollen John ein bisschen befragen, was er denn von Horst's Fähigkeiten hält. <lacht> John, I just, uh, I just said, we want to know, what do you think Horst can achieve here at his first TT? You know him from uh, endurance racing, you know him from Macau, what do you think? What's his chances? <laughs> uh, it's going to be difficult. Uh, there's a hell of a lot to learn. Uh, many corners, obviously, but uh, I think Horst is a very experienced rider and a uh, smooth rider, and uh, you just got to be patient and ride around and enjoy the circuit. And uh, I don't know, it's hard to say, you know, lap times, he maybe could achieve 120 mile an hour lap or something like that. And uh, But the, the most important thing is, uh, to be safe, you know, and and go home in one piece, and then and then tr try and enjoy it, and then come back another time. But uh, it's not going to be easy, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, uh, about you, this time you're riding a 500 uh, CC Honda. This time a light in, li in the lightweight. Uh, you're not one of the <laughs> the jockey kind of riders. <laughs> Are you doing that for fun or do you really think like uh, that could be your 20th win or something that, in that direction? Yeah, possibly. I mean, you know, it's a bit of a joke about my weight and, uh, but, yeah, I don't know. It, it, the, the, it's a new challenge, you know, Honda want to promote the bike, push the bike and, uh, you know, if the bike's competitive and it's as fast as the other machines on the track, there's no reason why I can't win on a, on a small bike. I've won races on 250s round here and it's a run race on 400s and uh, single cylinder bikes, so, you know, I, I know how to ride one, but, uh, yeah, maybe I'm giving away a couple of stone, or a couple of kilos here, there and everywhere, <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, we'll see what happens, you know, it's, it's, a new, it's a new bike and a new challenge, so there's not too much expectation, but uh, with a little bit of luck and, uh, you know, we can maybe win the race, but we'll, we'll see. It's not too far away now, we'll find out. <laughs> All right. uh, last year you competed also in the e-bike, in the Zero competition. Um, came in second after Michael Rutter. Uh, have you given up on the e-bikes or um, is that something you're looking forward to do again in the future? Yeah, thanks for reminding me about that, yeah. <laughs> Michael Rutter beating me. It was, uh, me and Michael are great friends and uh, good rivalry and uh, he got 10,000 pounds for the first 100 miles an hour lap so I was well disappointed about that but uh, they've come back to the drawing board in Japan and uh, you know it's uh, you know what the Japanese are like they don't like getting beaten and uh, they've built a new machine and uh, the, they're coming back with it and Mr. Honda's coming with it as well, you know, they're the boss of, of Honda and uh, big pressure now this time to win, you know, last year was second, no, this year they want to win and they build a new bike and predicted some fantastic lap times and the lap times they're predicting, if we can actually do that, we should win the race for sure, but uh, it's an interesting project, it's a bit different, you know, it's a bit strange and some people are for it and some people don't like it and, you know, but it's, it's, a, good, it's a good thing to be part of and uh, it's, a special, it's a special bike, but uh, you know, hopefully we can we can beat Michael this time. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, one last question about your endurance racing. Um, TT Legends used to be you and Cameron, and um, now you have a whole new team with well, a lot of new guys riding with you at, uh, at uh, endurance racing. What are your expect expectations for this year? Uh, <laughs> Just uh, for me personally, I would love to to win or even stand on the podium of a world endurance race. You know, I've done lots of things in my career and raced everywhere, but you know, we've finished fifth four times and fourth, and you know, we're just we're just not quite fast enough to be on the podium. But you know, with a little bit of luck, we maybe get on the podium if these guys next door break down or something, Bollinger break down, because <laughs> these are a little bit faster than us. But uh, it's tough, you know. I didn't really. Not didn't respect it, but I didn't realise how fast they actually go at World Endurance. You know, I thought it'd be a lot easier than it is, and it's not. It's very, very hard, and uh, they really, really ride hard and push hard. And uh, but I don't know. With this, I, I like I like going to the races. It's it's a little bit like grassroots. You know, it's like like old school. We've good. You know, I've got, met some great people in the paddock, and you know, we have a bit of fun together. And then on the track, you know, we just do our best. But uh, we're not at the moment. We're not just quite fast enough. But you know, we've. I want to stand on the podium, that's what I want to do and uh, spray some champagne. <laughs> All right, Horst, then that's the last question for you. Now you can give some advices to, to John maybe for the endurance racing. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 
uh, yeah, stay behind me and, <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy my back. <laughs> I've looked at his backside yeah. a few times on the, on the track, so uh, I don't want to look at it anymore. I always try to give him some beer, so to be sure that he stays behind me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, guys. No worries. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the day. Bye. See you tonight at the big, the big, big show. The big show. <laughs> Thank you. No worries.